So every year, a new set of iPhones is inevitably released, and every year it's a primarily incremental improvement, and for most people, sticking with last year's iPhone or even an iPhone from a couple years ago is usually enough to keep you getting by. But there's always that one year where your iPhone just starts running slower than it used to, or the battery starts draining faster, or maybe the new iPhones have a feature that you've always wanted. And for me and my wife, this is that year, and the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max are the iPhones that we decided to upgrade to. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm unboxing and checking out the brand new iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. So like I said, my wife and I are on older iPhones. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and my wife has my old iPhone 10. And I mean, yeah, I have used phones in between. I've had a lot of Google Pixels because Google has been nice enough to send me a bunch of Pixels. But iPhone wise, I've really been kind of stuck in the past. And up until recently, it hasn't bothered me that much. It has bothered my wife a little bit because she doesn't like the cameras in the iPhone 10 because we take a lot of pictures of our nieces and nephews and the iPhone 10's cameras just don't cut it anymore. And it's funny because up until until recently, I didn't really use the camera on my iPhone 11 Pro Max that much. But then I started vlogging with it and creating a series called the $20 Sneaker Collection on my main channel, and I realized that I need a camera that's much better than what I have now. That being said, the iPhone 11 Pro Max's camera is not bad, but when I'm using it as my main camera for an entire video on a channel that's almost at a million subscribers, I feel like I should be doing something a little bit higher quality. And rather than grabbing like this crazy vlogging system or unit or whatever, I decided to grab a new iPhone. And based on some of the specs of the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max, I feel like this is gonna be a definitely capable vlogging camera, and I'm actually really excited about having something that's this great of a camera in my pocket. So in addition to unboxing these two brand new iPhones, we've also got a couple of accessories that we're gonna unbox. We've got the MagSafe charger, which I've never used before. I'm also dropping some of these accessories. I've got a spigen case from my wife's iPhone 13 Pro, and then I got myself an Apple 13 Pro Max clear case that has a MagSafe little circle and line. I don't know what those are. I'm assuming those are magnets. I've never had a MagSafe case or MagSafe anything, so this is new to me. But I guess at this point, it's time to unbox these guys and find out how the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max feel in hand, because I've never seen these in person yet. A lot of other tech reviewers get iPhones directly from Apple early, but I'm not at that point yet. So Apple, if you're watching this, Hit me up next year. So why don't we start things off with the iPhone 13 Pro. Oh, actually, before we do that, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram, Twitter, and now on TikTok, at Real Seth Fowler, because I give you guys early sneak peeks at upcoming videos over there. And I'm sure I've posted a picture of these guys by now on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me over there, at Real Seth Fowler. As you can see, my wife opted for the gold color, which is ever so slightly lighter of a shade of gold than last year's iPhone. I was kind of torn between the gold one and the Sierra blue one, but I figured for this video, one of us needs to get the new Sierra blue colorway, so that's what I went with. Although I hope I don't regret not getting the gold because the gold honestly looks sick even just in the box So the iPhone 13 Pro's box and the Pro Max's box comes in this sort of semi-gloss satin black material Which I really love you've got the iPhone text in the color of the iPhone Which is really cool on the sides and then you've got this sort of raised one-to-one -one image of the iPhone on the front of the box And then on the back of the box you've got all the tech specs and you've also got the pull tabs So why don't we just start ripping this thing open and check out the brand new iPhone? I feel bad I'm robbing my wife of this unboxing experience, but she can just watch the video and see how it went. She's not actually here at the moment, so she's missing out, but it's gonna be sick. Okay, and then I'm assuming it just kind of slides open like this. Oof, very nice. Oh my goodness, look at that. So the first thing that you see inside the box is the brand new iPhone 13 Pro. Whew, that camera module is thick. That is a thick boy. This is a sick looking iPhone. I'm gonna put it off to the side and check out what else we got inside the box. And put it on the ground very carefully. Oh, these sides are sick. Oh my goodness, okay, let's put this on the ground. First thing inside the box, you've got your iPhone charging cable right there. It's a uh, lightning to USB-C. I wish it was USB-C to USB-C, but it's not, unfortunately. And then you've also got right here this little, uh, I'm guessing, startup guide, and also a SIM removal tool, which is what my wife and I are gonna have to use because we bought unlocked iPhones. And then also, an Apple sticker, which I won't put on anything. Okay, and then that is everything inside the box. This is one of the quickest unboxings I've ever done on the channel. That's pretty much it. It's got this sort of, I'm assuming, recycled cardboard material in the bottom of the box. No power brick, like I said, and that's all you get. So let's check out this super clean and super sexy iPhone 13 Pro. So the edges of the iPhone, you've got this beautiful, super glossy metallic gold color. You've also got that accenting each one of the camera lenses. Of course, the module is significantly bigger than it was on any of the previous iPhones. I can't find my iPhone 11, which is ridiculous, but I can't. It's a lot bigger than that and bigger than the 12. And then on the back, you've got this really nice sort of frosted glass with the Apple logo in this nice gloss. And then on the front of the device, you've got this really interesting sort of white piece of uh, paper covering up the screen. And what else is interesting is that I've already gotten a million fingerprints on this thing, and that sucks. So let's pull off this uh, piece of paper and see the screen. 
at that. So on the front, it looks sort of similar to the iPhone 12 Pro in that you've still got a similar screen size. It's 6.1 inches. However, the notch is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit thinner. And they also moved the speaker from in the middle of the notch up to the top of the notch, which I actually really like. It makes it a little bit more discreet, which I think is nice. And I really love the flat edges. It reminds me a lot of the iPhone 4, one of my favorite phones of all time. Just a beautiful, beautiful looking phone. I'm actually really mad I didn't get the gold. This is so sick. Okay, so here we go with the Sierra Blue colorway. There are two other colorways of the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max available. There is a white colorway and a graphite colorway, both of which are fine, but both pretty standard. So I wanted to grab the two colors that are a little bit different. So again, like with the iPhone 13 Pro's box, the Pro Max's box is designed very similarly. You've got the iPhone logo in blue on either side, the blue Apple logo, and then the raised iPhone 13 Pro Max uh, image right there on the front. So let's pull these tabs right here. The box is obviously a little bit bigger because the phone itself is bigger. And let's check it out. So here we go. Okay, so the color is not bad. I don't mind that. So here's the Sierra blue color. Not bad at all. So this phone's a little bit different and then it features a 6.7 inch screen diagonally. And um, it's got a bigger battery, but other than that, like the processor's the same, still an A15 Bionic. It's still got the same camera um, array right there in the back. It's a pretty similar phone other than the battery and the size. So underneath the phone itself in the box, you've got another lightning to USB-C and then another presumably uh, SIM removal tool and Apple sticker crap in there. And then that's the entire unboxing experience. I feel like I should have made this a review in addition to an unboxing because it's such a short unboxing. But let's pull off the paper on the top of the iPhone. Ooh. That is sick. <laughs> this is a beautiful looking device. I actually really like the edges because the edges have kind of a, a blue steel look to them. That was just the worst thing I've ever done in my life. But um, no, I really do like the way it looks. The Sierra blue colorway is nice, but I much prefer the dark blue color from last year. I had the green iPhone 11 Pro Max from the year before, and I just like darker colors, but this isn't bad. I don't mind it. Let me turn mine on and we'll see what the setup process is like. So while this is happening, let me open some of these accessories. We've got the uh, the spigeon case for my wife's iPhone. And I might throw it on her phone just to show you what it looks like because I think it'll look sick with the gold. So there's Jordan's iPhone in this new case. You can see the nice little gold camera array on the back. Very clean. This is a spigeon case. I think it was like 17 bucks or something. Not bad. And then the other case that we got was the iPhone 13 Pro Max clear case. Pretty simple looking case. You've got this white ring to show you where the MagSafe guy goes with that other magnet right there. Look at that. Very, very nice. Nice looking phone for sure. So while this is setting up, let's unbox the last accessory that we have, this MagSafe accessory right here. First thing you get inside the box is the setup instructions, all that sort of good stuff. Then you've got the MagSafe right here. Looking very nice. It's actually heavier than I expected. And actually, to be fair, so is the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. It's a much heavier phone than the 11 and even the 12. So the MagSafe charger comes with a USB-C end and then of course the magnetic end. So there it is and it magnetically attaches to the back of the phone like this. But there you go. And that's how you charge it. It's a little bit slower than charging directly through the lightning port, but it's not bad, and it does give you a nice wireless charge if you need it. So I figured I'd grab that just to try it out, see if it's worth it. Okay, so I've set up my own phone. I'm gonna wait for my wife to set up her phone, but I've gotta say, I am really impressed by the build quality and the overall just fit and finish of these brand new iPhones. I mean, they feel significantly more premium well then, mine and my wife's iPhones, which yes, are like a year or two, depending on the iPhone that you're looking at old, but at the same time, these are pretty incredible feeling. Now I do wanna go over some of the tech specs of these iPhones and also talk about some of the features that make them significantly better than any of the previous iPhones. And the first feature that I think you'll notice as soon as you turn these on is a ProMotion display. So this ProMotion display has a maximum refresh rate of 120 hertz, but it's also a variable refresh rate, so it changes depending on what task that you're doing on the phone, which means it saves battery Life. Of course, the resolution of the phone is crazy and it's got a true tone display so it adapts to what lighting you're in at the moment. And also, when you see this iPhone in person, the notch really does feel smaller than any of the previous iPhones. Not significantly smaller, but a little smaller. Of course, both of these iPhones have IP68 water, dust, and splash resistance, which is a good thing. And like I mentioned before, the new camera array is even bigger, so it lets in even more light. They've got larger sensors, and they now have a macro photography mode, which is super cool. Personally, I'm also really into the cinematic mode on this camera because I'm gonna be using it for vlogging, and I'm really excited to test that and try that out. But if you guys wanna find out more about that, make sure to stay tuned for my upcoming review in the next couple days, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, because we're trying to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. Apple says that 
the cameras on the new iPhone 13 Pro and the Pro Max are the largest improvement over any camera improvement that they've ever made. I don't know if that's true yet, but I'm excited to find out. As we've come to expect from iPhones, the battery life on the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max is apparently awesome. Again, I have yet to try it. I literally just unboxed these, but I will make sure to let you know as soon as I know. And also if you hear any snorting or grunting, it's my dog walking around in the background. Chill, Ben. Oh, you like the new iPhone? Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? And as far as storage capacity goes, you now have an additional one terabyte option, which is the largest option and by far the most expensive. But of course, you still have the 128, 256, and 512 option. For both of these phones, we went with 256 because we've had 256 for years and we've never needed the extra space. And honestly, I just didn't want to pay the extra couple hundred bucks for a little bit more space. But that pretty much wraps up the unboxing for the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm going to try and not throw these phones while I'm gesturing with them. Now, you guys know what little comes inside the box, so hopefully you guys are okay with that make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and whether you plan to get one of the brand new iPhones for yourself and as always thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in the next one